Red Dead Redemption 2 promises to be Rockstar's richest, most expansive open world yet, and having been hands on with the game this week, we learnt a lot of new things that we simply didn't know before. There's a bank vault full of new stuff in here, so saddle up and ride out with us to discover 9 things you might not know about Red Dead Redemption 2. Bear in mind that the footage shown in this video won't necessarily match what we're talking about as there's no B-roll gameplay available yet, so we're doing it Arthur Morgan style, like a cowboy, builder. Uh, yeah, that works, kind of. In Red Dead Redemption 2, you can interact with literally anyone and everyone, be it a drifter out on the road, the local sheriff, a lovely dog, or a couple of fine folks moseying into a saloon. Lock on to an NPC and you'll bring up a list of context-sensitive actions, from greet, enabling you to say hello to whoever you like, to antagonise, allowing Arthur to start some shit. Should things escalate at any time, you can even defuse a situation, holstering your weapon while attempting to calm whoever you manage to enrage. It won't always work, and some people can be more prone to resorting to violence than others, but as in real life, you'll never quite be able to predict how each person in Red Dead 2's world will react. And if you do pat a dog, and you will, it won't bark at you next time you see it. Good boy. The protagonist of the previous game, John Marston, features in the prequel as a key member of the Vandalin gang, and as such, you'll regularly interact with him and bring him along on certain missions. In fact, you'll have a range of allies who will have your back in Red Dead 2, like Bill Williamson from the original, or Lenny Summers, who you can send out ahead of you, have coordinate synchronised stealth attacks with, or get them to do your dirty work. Back at camp though, you'll also see your gang going about their daily routines, meaning you might find Uncle drunk, fully clothed and passed out on the floor, or Marston wandering around in his PJs, which is the last thing we thought we'd ever see in Red Dead Redemption 2. We thought he slept in his cowboy get-up. Elsewhere in the camp, Pearson, the camp's cook, will rustle you up a hot meal if you bring him back some ingredients, and other members of the camp like Susan Grimshaw will give you tasks to carry out, aiding the camp and keeping morale up. As for Marston, fans of the last game will be glad to know that he still sounds just like he did, and you'll even get to find out how he picked up those distinctive facial scars. Ooh. While contributing to your camp has obvious benefits, like a place to eat, drink and rest to replenish Arthur's health, stamina and dead eye cores, Arthur can still go it alone for the entirety of the game, just like Marston did in the original Red Dead Redemption, and Red did in Red Dead Revolver. While riding solo, Arthur can explore a diverse open world, help out strangers, go hunting, skin animals for their pelts, start a bar brawl, put in some bounty hunting, set up his own makeshift camp for a night under the stars, or go on an unprovoked rampage. Your prior actions will also have an impact on relationships with certain characters. For instance, an earlier heist of kerosene magnate Leviticus Cornwall's money train during the story will mean you can't venture into his territory without instantly arousing suspicion, and in all probability a violent gunfight. Speaking of train heists, in Red Dead 2, you can hold up and rob any of the locomotives that carve a path through Rockstar's rendition of the Wild West, although it's something that brings with it considerable risk, of course. Strike it lucky, however, and you could be rolling in gold, bearer bonds, or whatever else the train happens to be carrying. Conversely, of course, you could end up taking a lot of risk for very little reward. It's a gamble, isn't it? Rockstar has gone big on weapon customization in Red Dead Redemption 2, so you can create a bespoke weapon with a long barrel, make the whole thing out of gold, silver, nickel or black metal, then choose the wood the handle is made out of and finish the whole thing off with intricate engraved designs if you so wish. The feature is so detailed that you can even choose what metal you'd like for the engraving inlay and experiment with different combinations of materials for every part of the gun. Upgrades like iron sights and improved components can also be fitted to your weapon, which then needs to be regularly maintained and cleaned to avoid it jamming or getting dirty. Nothing worse than having a glorious shiny pistol only for it to be gummed up with grime and encrusted in filth. Oh, and fun fact, you can also blast the limbs off your enemies with a powerful enough weapon and blow heads off like overripe watermelons. Icky. Over time, Arthur Morgan's wondrous facial hair will grow, and if you prefer, you can let it grow and leave it alone, or groom it accordingly. Should you decide to shave, you don't have to opt for a clean look. You can sport a fine moustache, some big sideburns, or whatever you fancy. Arthur can only do so much with his mirror and razor at camp, though, so if you want to look really dapper, you'll have to visit the local barbershop. Honestly, though, we recommend just letting it grow till you can no longer see your nipples. It's the cowboy way, I guess. 
If that's not your bag, at camp, Arthur can also slick back his hair with a dollop of pomade and wear any combination of clothing he likes, mixing and matching individual items from his wardrobe. Once you're looking the part, you can then take a selfie using the camera you're given during an early stranger mission. Careful though, run into trouble and you can lose your hat and have to buy or find a new one. A cowboy going hatless is simply unacceptable. While being able to rear up, gallop and leap while on horseback is all well and good, it doesn't even begin to compete with the ability to perform dressage. Yes, really, you can do dressage on your horse. Just what every outlaw wanted to do in the 1890s, right? Develop the bond with your horse by brushing it, patting it, feeding it and generally being very nice to it and you'll be able to gently canter around, do that little tippy toes thing and even power slide your horse around sharp bends. The relationship with your horse is more important than ever in Red Dead 2. If it dies, there's no getting it back, and if it's cold, its poor old balls will even shrink, and it'll poop dynamically. Hmm, I'm not even joking about those last bits. The balls and the, the, the poop. They're real. Remember how John Marston was like a gremlin in Red Dead Redemption and died instantly if he got wet? Not that gremlins die when they get wet, but you get the idea. Well, it's a different story with Arthur. He can actually swim. Hurrah! There is a logical caveat, though. You can't swim indefinitely, and if your stamina core becomes depleted, you'll drown. Maybe don't go swimming if you've just been hammering the run button, folks. Be careful if you're out there in the water. Please. You probably know by now that you can play the entirety of Red Dead Redemption in first-person mode as was eventually the case in Grand Theft Auto 5. But did you know that you can have the perspective switch based on certain contexts? Like for instance, you could explore Red Dead 2's expansive detailed world through Arthur's eyes, but then have the camera shift back to third person when you're in cover or engaged in combat. Maybe when you're grappling or punching someone's face down the local watering hole, you'd rather take it all in? You can tailor the camera parameters and settings to your liking, so you can best live out your Wild West fantasy in whatever way you see fit. And so there you have it, nine rootin' tootin' things you may not have known about Red Dead Redemption 2 that you now do know. You know? No? Yeah? No? Good. Anyway, if you enjoyed what you watched, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time further down the trail, you damn varmints!